あはーいいや Okay, so we had a good goosing this morning. It is now 10.06. I woke up at like 9 o'clock, ready to go. Going to bed earlier has been nice. I know you say the vlogs have been up early, with the exception of yesterday. The internet was dicked. YouTube wouldn't let me upload it. Said there was a problem with the file name. Well, poor shit. It, it's uploaded now. But anyways, um, going to bed at like 12 instead of 3 has done wonders for being able to get up in the morning. So I'm going to see if I can keep this up, because I'm actually happy to be here right now, and that's good. Wow, what the hell have you done to your Accord V6? Look at those tail lights. That kind of ruined what was actually a pretty nice car. Yeah, so it's 1.51. We got out of class 15 minutes early, out of both classes today, so minus 30 minutes I had to spend here. Um, and traffic so far on the way back isn't bad. Only being eight of two, um, we got a red light over here, but that's that's not such so, so, so used to that. We're used to that. Yep, yep. It's a beautiful day. It's 59 degrees, which is ironic because we're on Route 59. It's supposed to be like 65, I think, with chances of showers. It's been raining all day. Uh, it's actually not raining too much right now, but it has been. And the whole East Coast. I just looked on radar. I tweeted it actually. All the way from literally Maine to southern Florida is there's thunderstorms in the area, and uh, everything west of the, Miss of the Mississippi River looks fine. But over here, it's cold and cloudy and raining. But at least that'll keep things green a little longer, I guess. Let me bitch about this for a minute. This road over here, I think it's DePeister, some very strange name. They're totally redoing all of downtown Kent over here. So they've got this road closed down. Until a couple days ago, there was literally no road there. It was all dirt. We'll film it when we go by in a minute. They put a road in now, but it's not open. So my question is, why do I catch this light red every single day and it ties up all the traffic here downtown when the road is closed. Yeah, it's open over there, but you can make your little turn on the green. I don't get it. It's so annoying that they can't fix that. All right, rant done. And here's where we've been sitting now. It's 2.17. Uh, we've been here about 20 minutes and we're finally starting to move. Love this. All of 43 is construction. I don't quite understand why. We'll film what they're doing when we go by. But there's cones on the double yellow every hundred feet or so. I don't understand. I mean, it takes me an hour to drive like 10 miles. They're destroying these roads around here. As if they weren't bad enough. It's like driving on gravel. Well, now we're all stopped in the other lane. I do not understand. These, there's classes called construction management and they have that. I, I guess people still can't figure out how to do this so frustrated that they block everything here so so what are they doing I don't really see anything here so we get over here we got a guy in a in a machine I, I fail to understand the benefits of this road work and all of that is closed for no apparent reason until we get to here and then there's a little little bit of a mess a little bit of a mess here how about you just clean that up Instead of running sweet street sweepers, they apparently just closed down the road. Then we got to open here. Ridiculous. <laughs> and this is all backed up to here, and they just let us through already. This is a pretty main road to close lanes down for 10 minutes at a time. All right, it's uh, 4:55 p.m. I don't really know when I filmed last, or if I have anything to actually say. But I'm home, and it's still really crappy outside. Mid 50s, and still raining all over the. End. Excuse me, the entire East Coast. I do remember talking about that. Uh, it looks like that, uh, but that being said, I've been really productive. I've gotten all but one of my emails done. It just came in as I started the clip. I heard a ding on the iPad. Um, YouTube's down to one, which I'd like to say for tonight anyways, and I'm getting ready to make another tech video here in a little bit. You guys said you liked them, uh, liked having them back because, and I agree, all of the other big YouTubers that, all right, let's face it, a little talk here. I have been on YouTube for a long time. And watching YouTube videos since like maybe 07 or 08, which isn't as old as the site, but still pretty long time ago. And I started off with, you know, Soldier Knows Best and John Four Lakers. Those were the go-to guys for tech news. And both of them were really awesome. They all got the new stuff and reviewed it and did really good jobs. And now if I go watch one of those videos, if I click on something from John Four Lakers, unfortunately, it isn't even John Four Lakers. It isn't even John Rettinger talking about stuff most of the time anymore. 
And there for a while, all he did was phone reviews. Every day there was some new piece of crap Android phone that would come out, and he likes Android, and I don't get it. Maybe it's because he's used it longer and knows how it works. Um, but it's really changed. And every single video you watch, as somebody pointed out on the tech channel the other day, they all start with, well, not only the YouTube ads, it's not even that. There's 30 second ads at the beginning, 30 second ads at the end. If they're long videos, there's one in the middle. Plus, Every video that you watch from them, they're promoting some big, huge product that they want to sell, either in the beginning or at the end. And I understand that that's their job and they need to make their money, but it's just become kind of frustrating for people that just want to go and, and actually get informative tech news. And it's become frustrating that everything is a product placement ad now. And I don't do that, at least not yet, because I can't. But <laughs> anyways, that's what my channel's like. So I'm going to be talking about uh, somebody's iPhone 5 came and they opened it up and uh, it's a black one and it looks like that and I'm also going to be talking about the Geekbench results which were displayed I'll give you guys a little rundown now there's an iPad 3 Geekbench 2 757 iPhone 4 367 iPhone 4s 636 iPhone 5 1601 that's a I think I read a hundred and sixty percent increase I'll figure that out on my, on my phone in a minute but um, yeah so we see the a6 it's a gig of RAM it is a it's not underclocked unless they change the original clock speed, but it's clocked at 1.02 gigahertz, two cores, uh, with a, a megabyte of level two cache. So that is cool on iOS 6, which comes out tomorrow. I'm excited for that. I will definitely be downloading that, probably at school, depending on when it comes out. But yes, check out Ryan Knows Tech, where I will more eloquently talk about that. Oh, the CTS drivers, 39 and a 45. That thing is ghastly, especially in white. Hello, time check. It is 9.41 p.m. I am home. Went out with Kenan to get donuts and cider. You probably saw that on Twitter. 9.42 according to my daisy-ridden iPhone 4S. Um, now we're listening to that. Sounds pretty good, actually. I have the DSP set to that. A room and echo are all the way up. It sounds ridiculous. But... Um, Listen to this. Maybe you'll hear it. Hold on. Do you hear it fade in the back? The whole back seat. It sounds ridiculous with any other kind of music but classical and or opera. WC, WC. Okay, if anybody can tell me the name of this piece aside from Kevin, let me know. Because I don't know if it's cool points, but you'll get points. You can just hear what it sounds like, the difference here, may hear or not, I don't know. Yep, I doubt you know what that one is. You probably, actually, not many people do. Now this one, this has been in some movies, you may know this one. But it's a slow start. And somebody asked about that one. That is called Time to Say Goodbye. It is... It is immaculate. I'll say that. I'll, I'll try to leave a link below. I probably won't. So just go YouTube it. Time to Say Goodbye with... Uh, oh, I don't remember the name. Sarah Brightham and... Uh, starts with an A. It's really, really, really beautiful. Most people won't like that, but I do. Bobby, I think you did as well. And with those DSP settings, it's pretty perfect.